What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Team of the Group Stage Capu card to review and it's a card that looks very nice all rounded, you know, he's got a little bit of everything it looks like. 76 pace, 84 dribbling, 81 shooting, 86 defending, 85 passing with the 85 physicals as well. The upgrade this guy has had compared to his gold card is insane. He's at a plus 9 to his overall, a plus 28 to his pace, a plus 13 to dribbling, a plus 9 to shooting, a plus 10 to passing, a plus 9 to defending, and a plus 9 to his physicals as well. So yeah, a very, very nice upgrade from EA. He's a 6 foot 3 player. The guy's reaching that midfield. We all know he's going to be absolutely insane. He's got medium, medium work rates, which is okay. I personally prefer like a medium high or even like a high high. But I guess we have to deal with the medium, medium. He's got three star skill moves and he has got a three star weak foot as well. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, I feel like you really are forced to use the shadow chem style. Like even though this guy's had a plus 29 to his acceleration and plus 27 sprint speed, it still isn't enough, like genuinely isn't. So you have to go for the Shadow Chem style. So you get it up to 89 acceleration and 84 sprint speed. I reckon Capu, Capu is going to be one of those players that is not like extremely fast to get out to the play, you know? He's probably going to be one of those players that's got an okay transition and you have to wait for the perfect moment to then go in for that tackle. Now his shooting ability, looking decent. Like you get this guy inside the box with his 79 finishing and 87 shot power. I actually reckon it's going to go in. And keep in mind, he has got good long shots as well. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he doesn't. If this guy had like the finesse shot trait with the long shots and with the shot power he had, it would have been incredible. Now his passing ability, he looks like he's going to be like a deep line playmaker. A person that is just going to sit back, go for those over top through balls. And next thing you know, you're through on goal because he's got 87 vision, 90 short passing, 88 long passing as well. You best believe those passes all the way down the line is going to work. Now he's dribbling ability. It, for a six foot three player, it's not looking bad. It, it honestly isn't. Like, it's looking okay. I'm not expecting him to feel anything crazy on the ball. I reckon he's going to be one of those players that you have to keep it very simple with. You know, you don't want to overdo it because you end up losing the ball and you'll end up conceding. Now, his defensive stats definitely look top tier. Like, 99 interceptions with, while being six foot three is amazing to have. He's obviously got 80, uh, 83 heading accuracy, 90 defensive awareness, 97 standing tackling, and a 98 slide tackling as well. So, yeah, I'm expecting him to be a defensive beast. Now, his physicals, 81 jumping, 86 stamina, 87 strength, and the 81 aggression as well. So he is definitely going to try to get himself into some contact-to-contact -contact situations. And that jumping being 81 as well is actually really nice for a 6 foot three player. It kind of tells me that those little 50-50 aerial battles, he won't be losing them. Now, when it comes down to the links, that French nationality, that's all I have to say. The French nationality is simply amazing. And if... You actually went ahead and did this card right here, Pereiro. You can obviously get that strong link with him as well. Now, I've got Carrasco, Mbappe, and your boy Ferland Mendy just to get him on full chemistry. Now, the two positions I'm going to be playing him in is the sentiment position and the CDM position in a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 formation. So, let's get into the games and let's see how good this Capu card is actually going to be. Get into him here. Already putting that attacker. Well played. Nice use of strength as well to hold off that player. I kind of want to see how he feels on the ball. And that's not bad. Little ball roll there in front of the player. There you go. Not the greatest touch, but we're just going to go for the switcher play here and see if it's going to work. And it has worked. And David Neres can't get the ball under control. I'm going to push out slightly here. I reckon he is going to try to pass down that middle. And that's exactly what he did. And we read it like an absolute book. Just pass it back here. He's actually sitting on the edge of the box. Should we? Oh, I kind of wanted to see. Actually, we, we got it. Finesse shot, green. Oh, okay. With obviously the long shots being high and the shot power being high, we definitely have to give those a go. It's just that didn't seem like the greatest shot, I must admit. I'm going to just second man press this and he actually took a really bad touch into me and we just used that strength to calm down that play and, you know, just go for a simple pass. There was no need to rush anything there. Push up here. I want to see how quick he can get out to the player. Got out to him pretty quick, I must admit. I'm going to see if I can maybe cover that middle now. Can I get it? He's quite aggressive there, and we do eventually come out with a ball. Well played. Tapu, can you make that movement going forward? No, he's not, man. I reckon if he had, like, high attacking work rate in that kind of situation right there, he makes that movement going forward. It's just, I feel like with those medium, medium work rates, those little spaces in the attacking area, he won't be, like, super aggressive to. 
So we have got a corner here and I definitely do want to see how good his heading ability actually is. So we're going to give it a go. He's moved out the keeper. What do I do here? Do I move it? Yeah, I'll probably hit a back stick. See what happens. Come on, Kapu. You're six foot three with nice jumping. He's brought out the... Oh, he brought out the keeper as well in a terrible, terrible area. All I needed to do was literally put it on target. I even greened it as well and we still couldn't get it on target. And we're trying to get a ball here. Nah, the transition speed was pretty decent there, by the way. It's just we couldn't come out with a ball. Is anyone going to give me an option? That middle is covered, so I'm going to have to trust in Kapu here. Really nice close quarter dribbling there. I'm just going to go for the switcher play with his own passing, and it's going to be a really nice pass. I feel like I'm going to be quite confident with his passing ability in that middle because I know how high his long passing and short passing is, so I can literally try or even, let's say, attempt any pass I want. He's actually gave me a nice option here. Go for a touch in the middle there. Can I just get away from him? I can't, man. Yeah, his dribbling ability really isn't anything special. I do like, though, how when he... Oh, this guy's moved. No, I red-timed it. I do like how when I'm under pressure, I can literally just hold L2 and he will shield off anyone. And I repeat, anyone he wants because of that strength. And I feel like you're going to have to use that a good amount because of how his dribbling is. We could go for a quick break here. This guy just literally gave it to us off a corner pretty much. Kapu, are you going to make that run? No, he's not. But he is going to go for a nice cut back into the middle. I'm just going to run with him. Just trusting in his pace. Keep it going. There you go. Cross it. Come on. That's a beauty of a cross. We green there as well. And Carrasco slotting it home. Step into the middle there. Surely he goes for a turn, right? Kapu's done really well to get out to him there and put in... A decent tackle. For me, honestly, I feel like that is a foul. I genuinely do. But, hey, I will take it. Play that quick, Carrasco, before you lose that ball. There you go. Kapu, move forward here. Just keep going. Nice acceleration touch. I see a run all the way to the top. And look at that for a pass. I'm going to enjoy that a lot, by the way. Because I know if I want to go for a quick break, I can easily do that. And that is a very, very rigged goal. This guy wants that pass into the middle badly. He's trying to get into the middle, passing across and everything. I'm going to see if I can just get out to him here. I should have probably fully committed, man. It's just I didn't feel like he was actually going to get there fast enough. And that is a nice turn. Fake shot this because I see two people making a run. Come on, Nakata, please. Oh, my God. Nakata actually... No. It was against Kempembe as well. That's why I was so surprised Nakata actually got there. Stroikov, give me that option. There you go. See, right there, if Kapu has that high attacking work rate, he's making that aggressive run going forward. But because he's only got medium, medium, he doesn't actually do it. And this guy, what, is, what am I seeing? Oh, wow. Okay, we've actually got past him. Chip him. Please. Win the header. You're six foot three against Kempembe as well? Come on. Nakata, David Neres, play that through ball. Can I just use his pace now to get through that gap? Yes, I can. I'm actually going to take the shot early. We yellow timed it. And what is that safe? Je what is that save? Like, yeah, I know I yellow timed it and all, but come on. Let's see what we can do off this corner, though. Come on, back stick. I feel like that's perfect. I don't know who he's, who he's actually up against. Oh, it's Banza, and he loses the header to Banza. Just take that touch. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Through all that. Use that pace now. Great acceleration touch. Then he slows down a little bit. We'll pass to David Neres. Good ball. We'll roll that. Cut into the inside. We completely, completely send the defender for a hot dog. And he smacks it top bins. I'm actually going to go near post this time. I want to see how that near post header is. I think, yeah, he's against Ferran. So that's going to be a tough one to win. But you never know. He could end up winning it. Come on. There you go. He actually did win it. He was in front of Ferran. It's just a heading accuracy. It's not going on target right now. I've actually told him to make a run because I do want to see how good his shooting ability actually is and i still can't get him the ball there you go edge of the box green timed and we end up missing the opportunity with his kind of long shots right i'm expecting it at least to go on target especially with a green time like I, I don't understand how it's not even going on target especially from that kind of distance out to him slightly here can i go for that slide tackle there you go there's those long legs just coming into play getting us that ball high up on the pitch we go for the sweat and we get ourselves a guaranteed goal Stay close to him. Don't allow that turn. There you go, man. Good tackle. Nice patience with Nakata. We got the ball with him. You see that acceleration? Like, look how fast he is. Get that ball roll. Please. Please go in. It's green time. Please. There you go, man. There's the long shot we've been waiting for. Get that ball. No, I was about to say, man. With his kind of strength as well against Bernardo Silva, he should be easily kind of holding him off there. And it was for a second. I was panicking, thinking he was going to allow him in front, but... He did actually recover really well. Let's give this near post another go. Come on, where is he? He's all the way down there. Uh, Go near post again. Hopefully, I can get in front of Varane so I can get like a wide open header. Come on. 
No, green timed as well. They were side to side, by the way, and he loses out the header to Varane, which is kind of understandable. I'm not expecting him to beat Varane on a header. Push out here. Can I put in that tackle? There you go, man. Really, really strong tackle. Anyone going to make a run? Carrasco, come on, bro. You can easily make that run in behind, but he just didn't want to. And yeah, that's a foul. That is 100% a foul, but I'll take it. I'm going to trust him here just to put in a good tackle. It wasn't a really well-timed tackle, but look at that for strength. Completely pushing a player off the ball. Hit that across. There you go. Pass it across again. Mbappe, I see you, but you know what? Why not? No way. Oh my god. That's the I think that's the best long shot I've ever scored. No way. From that far, that's like 40 yards out. He's gonna cut back. Is he gonna just go for that shot? He is, and that's an amazing animation to actually block that shot. And it was a nice tackle, but somehow we still haven't actually came out with this ball. EA, EA, relax. Thank you. Finally. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Kapu. We actually walked away with two goals and we also came out with two assists as well. Now I'm not going to sit here and I like we only took two long shots and they both went in. No, we did take a good amount of long shots. The majority of them were actually finesse shots. I did green it, but it just didn't want to go on target. It didn't want to even go into the back of the net. So I was like, I kind of gave up on the finesse shots, gave the normal power shots a go. And that's when I started to score goals. The first shot was beautiful. But then the second one, the second long shot was insane for a person. That's got 83 long shots. I was definitely, definitely not expecting that. So yeah, the shooting ability for the midfielder, I really do enjoy. Now, the other things I really enjoy about this card is the passing ability, the defending ability and the physicals. Those three things are incredible on this card, man. Like the tackles this guy was putting in was beautiful. The strength you saw in a lot of occasions. If he was put under pressure, just hold L2, calm it down a little bit. Use his 87 strength to hold off the player and you should be perfectly fine. And the passing ability, wow. Like I completely forgot that he even had a three-star weak foot because it didn't seem like a three-star weak foot with a passing. It seemed like a four-star weak foot with a passing where I was just on either foot turning smacking the ball and it was perfectly landing onto the player like i was really really impressed with the passing and that's the thing about him right you can also use him as like a deep line playmaker where he's going to be sitting back next thing you know you see let's say my david neres or your winger just in general running in behind you can go for a pass you can easily get in behind and next thing you know you can score yourself a goal so yeah the passing ability i really did enjoy as well now the pace and dribbling the dribbling was actually better than what i expected it to be i thought he was going to be one of those players that you have to keep it very simple with you know you don't have to overdo it with him because you end up losing the ball in a stupid area no you can actually go for a few dribbles with this guy and you can actually run with this guy as well so yeah the dribbling was definitely better than what i expected it to be and the pace the transition speed was okay it was nothing crazy like it felt a little bit heavy time to time i must admit but the thing is with Kapu, with Kapu is he isn't a player that can get out to someone insanely quick. You kind of have to use him as like a holding CDM where you have to wait for the perfect moment to go in for that tackle and actually get out to him. Because if you just rush out with this guy, he will be out of position. He won't get to the player fast enough and they will just, you know, pass random, let's say. Now, the card isn't going for anything outrageous. 70k. 70k is perfectly fine when it comes down to coins it honestly is it's an amazing amazing price for this kind of card so yeah i definitely do believe it he is worth the seventy thousand coins now would i take him over a player like lorente no i personally would like enjoy lorente more because of how fast he is actually in the midfield i like my sentiments that cdm is very aggressive so me having lorente on that shadow chem style just makes players rush like just makes him rush out the players and he always always gets the ball so yeah for me i still prefer lorente over this capu card now where would i put him in the midfielders tier list as i said man he's a top tier card he honestly is i wouldn't put him on a b tier i feel like an a tier for this kapu card is really really good because he's their defending ability is it really really isn't a joke and we have to keep in mind he's a six foot three player as well so that tackle reach that interception reach is simply simply unbelievable so yeah a b tier for the midfielders tier list but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace